It seems like the Malaysian authorities' manhunt for transgender celebrity Nur Sajat has come to an end. Or has it? Nur Sajat Kamarazaman is a social media influencer and beauty entrepreneur who has been on the run from Malaysian authorities since February this year. Recent reports say she was detained at a condominium in Bangkok, Thailand and plans to seek refuge in Australia. Sajat is wanted by the Selangor Islamic Religious Department, or JAIS, in Malaysia. So what was her crime? She allegedly insulted Islam by wearing a pink dress and a floral headscarf in 2018. How? Well, someone certainly found her dress offensive enough to make a police report against her, which started the whole investigation based on Section 10 in the Islamic law. Her act of cross-dressing was seen as an insult to Islam. She was supposed to show up in court on her birthday, February 23rd, but went off the grid. It's not hard to see why she was afraid. Just before her court appointment, she said she was wrongfully handcuffed when in religious police custody. Jais also mobilized 122 officers to find Sajat wherever she is. That seems like quite a large number of people to find just one person. When we asked why, they could not give us an answer. The Malaysian police are working with the Thai government to bring Sajat back, but human rights advocates are discouraging it. Deputy Asia Director of the Human Rights Watch, Phil Robertson, tweeted, As a United Nations recognized refugee, under no circumstances should Nur Sajat be sent back to Malaysia. She needs to be sent to a country that will offer rights protections, not persecuted for being LGBT, which is what will happen if she is sent to Malaysia. Not only is she a vulnerable transgender person facing persecutions from the authorities in Malaysia, a country that does not recognize LGBTQ rights, she also faces death threats for renouncing Islam. <gasps> Online, People are rallying for Sajat's safety and well-being with the hashtags Free Sajat and Leave Sajat Alone on Twitter. Right now, Sajat may still be in Bangkok or already on her way to Australia. Wherever she goes, we hope she's safe. And leave Sajat alone. Coconuts TV